19, 1775, the countryside was alive with the news of a British redcoat force, about 700 strong, marching toward Concord from Boston. As the redcoats marched into town, Concord's minute and militia companies withdrew to the hills beyond the river. The commander of the British soldiers, Lieutenant Colonel Francis Smith, divided his men and sent them throughout the town to search for military supplies known to be hidden there. One detachment was sent over the North Bridge to search for stores and cannon hidden at Barrett's farm, a mile and a half further down the road. Three companies, about 96 men, were posted between the bridge and the colonial militia. Four companies proceeded to Barrett's farm. Meanwhile, the colonists were joined by men from the surrounding towns, increasing their numbers to more than 400 men. As the colonials watched in horror, smoke began to rise from the center of Concord. The redcoats were burning some captured supplies, but the colonists feared the town had been set on fire. At a brief council, Joseph Hosmer demanded, Will you let them burn the town down? The colonial officers led their men down the hill. The redcoats pulled back to this side of the bridge and prepared to defend themselves. They fired warning shots, but the colonists continued to advance. The redcoats then fired a volley, this time into the colonial ranks. Two colonists were killed, Isaac Davis and Abner Hosmer, both of Acton. Major John Buttrick shouted the order, Fire, fellow soldiers, for God's sake, fire! For the first time, Americans were ordered to fire on the king's troops. Two redcoats were killed and nine wounded, including four of the eight officers present. Confused and outnumbered more than four to one, the redcoats retreated hastily to the center of town. The fight at the North Bridge was over. At about noon, the Redcoats began marching back to Boston. On the eastern edge of Concord, the fighting resumed and escalated. The Redcoats hurriedly retreated back to Boston with the colonial militia at their heels. The men of Massachusetts Bay Colony who risked their lives at Lexington Green, North Bridge, and along the Battle Road ignited a flame in the hearts of their countrymen. The American Revolution had begun. Thank <laughs> you.